How's it going guys? Just a quick PSA for you all. First of all, you're still going to be getting your daily dose of Wi-Fi battles from me. That's not going to change. However, I did make a second channel. On this channel, I'll be covering all Nintendo games as they come out and similar N Nintendo-esque games as well. For example, we're currently covering Little Kitty Big City and Princess Peach Showtime. If you're interested in seeing me play other games apart from Pokemon, then be sure to go check out the new channel and join me on this new journey. Now with that out of the way, let's get into the video. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Wi-Fi battle. Today we're having a battle versus Corndog in the RU tier. Let me know who you think is going to win based on the teams you see on screen right now and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's jump straight into the game. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, corn dogs. So they're going to lead off with Cleavor as we lead off with what they think is a Terrakion. So they're probably not going to go straight for that Stone Axe right off the bat. They more than likely switch out into their Pokemon like Mudsdale um, to take an incoming attack. But Terrakion does so well against their team, you know, other than that Breloom. So we've got to be really careful with that. So what I'm going to do here is I am going to Shadow Ball right off the bat because I don't think they'll Stone Axe. They do U-turn because they don't want to get hit by a Stone Edge, which makes sense. We prevented the Stone Axe successfully. I think that's a decent lead right there. As they now go back, they more than likely go into the Alolan Muk here. So maybe I should have gone for a Hyper Voice, but I think it'll still do no damage anyway. Um, so the Muk does come in, which is really fine. Muk's fine. We go for that Shadow Ball. And the great thing about Muk coming is, is they're probably going to go for a knockoff, if I had to guess. Um, so the knockoff's an interesting one. So we could go Terrakion and get a Justified Boost, which is obviously an option. But if we do that, we lose our Choice Band. So it's like, is it really a good option? Is it really a good option though, Jack? Really? So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go ahead and red card this thing with my Ferretris. Switching out to Ferretris is probably the best thing I could do, to be honest with you. So uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alcatraz comes in. There we go. They go for a knockoff. That's going to knock off our red card. But I think it activates, right? No, it doesn't. It doesn't activate. So that failed miserably. But it's fine because I'd rather have the Muck in here. Because it means I get the Stealth Rocks up, which is going to be really useful. Especially considering they don't have a Hazard Clearer. Stealth Rocks are going to be useful. So let's go for the Stealth Rock real quick. They go for a Curse. Ah. That ain't good. That isn't good at all. To be honest with you, that's very bad. Very bad for us. So we go for a Stealth Rock, which is great and all. But this is a Curse Muck we've got on the screen right now. So now the question is, what do we do now? Um, I'm leaning towards maybe, uh, not Gyarados, I'm leaning towards Terrakion, because Terrakion resists both Poison and Dark. And if they go for a knockoff here, which I don't think they will, I think they're going to go for another Curse. Then we can go for a nice, super effective Earthquake with a Choice Band, which should do a lot of damage. They go for a Drain Punch, though, which does over half. They successfully poison us with Poison Touch as well. This Muck is causing me some issues right now. I remember how I said Terrakion was so good for this te uh, against their team. We may have just lost to Rakion, so I'm going to go for that EQ. I think EQ is the way to go here. Um, EQ should take this thing out real quick. They do withdraw, which is great. Are they going to go Breloom? Mudsdale. Mudsdale's going to get a nice stamina boost from that, so Mudsdale may be a problem, actually. Um, so the point stones do dig into the Mudsdale, which is great. We go for an EQ. That is going to do some solid damage to the Mudsdale with a critical hit, but they do get that stamina boost, so that is unfortunate. So now, what do we do? The Muzzadale is in. It has no real re reliable recovery. Um, we could expect them to go for something like a Stealth Rocks, or they may go for... Well, they probably don't Stealth Rocks because they've got Stone Axe on the Cleavor, but um, they're going to go for something which is going to hurt us. So either way, I think I'm better off going... <laughs> they're going to go for a, a High Horsepower slash Earthquake, right? So we should go into Noivern. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for the Noivern switch. I think they assume that we're going to let the Terrakion go down here, so they go straight for an EQ. So if we go into Noivern and, and prevent that, that'd be great. Um, so we frisk them. They are leftovers. We already knew that. And um, they go for a Stealth Rock. So this Stone Axe on the Cleavor is just as a backup, I guess. Which makes sense, to be fair. Um, unless it's a Sheer Force Cleavor, which is why they have it. But I don't know. I don't know about that. So anyway, Mordsdale is in. I'm looking at their team and I'm thinking Boom Burst could do a lot of damage to something. Do we tear a normal Boom Burst though? No, because then we'll be weak to Mock Punch from the Breloom. Do we drop a Draco? Dropping a Draco could be good. That'll hurt everything pretty much. I'll drop a Draco for now because I don't want to Boom Burst while that Reverie Room's around. Because we don't have Flamethrower on this Snowburn. So I, I definitely want to keep that around. So they go into Muck. Muck is going to definitely not appreciate this Draco Meteor too much. 
as he gets some stones damage. Draco Meteor should still do a decent chunk of damage. As there we go. A nice, a nice little chunk of damage. Um, now all we have to do is sack off Terrakion. I think sacking off Terrakion is probably the best way to go. Um, not really, though. Uh, not really, not really, not really. They go for a knockoff, right? Do we need Zoroark? I don't think we need Zoroark. So I'm going to sack Zoroark off. And then I'm going to bring in the Terrakion to go for a close combat. Because close combat hits everything on their team for really good damage. So that would be a great play to go for. So we've drawn Noivim. We're going to sack off the Zoroark. Or in their eyes, Alcatraz, the Ferretrus. Which we're going to go into. We get some Stealth Rock Chip, which is unfortunate. They do go for a Drain Punch. Doesn't affect us. So that's good. So they expected the Terrakion to come in. And they went for a Drain Punch, which is a good play. Good play. So uh, we now get to go for a Hyper Voice and get some free damage off. There we go. Hyper Voice comes through. Free damage on the Muk, which is great. They go for a knockoff. That's going to take out Zoroark. So that is unfortunate. Zoroark, yet again, didn't get to do much. Which is funny because I've used Zoroark in the past in like OU and it's done really well. But like, I'm using it in RU and it's like, it's just failing miserably. <laughs> it's really weird how that works. So um, anyway, we now go into Terrakion and we start going for close combats. I say close combats, but I mean close combat because we've got one in us. We've got one in us and hopefully this Muk doesn't have Protect. But I'm assuming it has a Poison Stab move that we haven't seen yet. So Stones do dig into us. And now we just go straight for a close combat and take something out. They withdraw the Muk. What are they going to go into to take out? Mudsdale. Mudsdale's not going to appreciate this close combat, buddy. I think it takes it out as well. From there, I think it takes it out. If we go for the close combat, it might live, actually. It doesn't live. Mudsdale is down. That's great. We got a Pokemon down with Terrakion before Terrakion died. So Terrakion did good there. I think we played it like decently well as well, which is always great. And there we go, RIP to the Terrakion. It was a pleasure knowing you, buddy. It was a pleasure knowing you. There's a reason you're in RU now and not higher tier. So, um, what can we do now? If we assume they're going to go... I think they go Galvantula here. I really think they go Galvantula. I don't want to make any assumptions, though. Kind of want to go Gyarados, but they might go Cleavor. Get a Dragon Lance up on Gyarados. We're, we're rolling. We are rolling. Um, let's go for Etrus. Fretris matches up pretty well against the whole team, and we can just Volt Switch on whatever they bring in. So we'll go Fretris first, like so. Galvantula, the Paldea champion. I thought they would go Galvantula. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. So. Body Press is actually resisted by Galvantula. I didn't know that. I thought Bug didn't resist that. I thought it was something. I thought it was because most Bugs are like Bug Poison, Bug Flying. So I thought it was the other types that were doing that, but it's not. Never mind. So what, what can we do here? If we assume they're going to go for a Sticky Webs, we should go for a Volt Switch. Let's go for a Volt Switch. They go for a Thunder, which is going to sting. Takes us out. Is that a Choice Specs Galvantula? I mean, that's cool if it is. That's really cool if it is. So, our best bet here is probably our specially defensive Sylveon. I would say. Not a Gyarados, that's for sure. Unless we want a Dragon Dance on this thing. And I'm going to go for the Terra Blast. Uh, not Terra Blast. I'm going to go for the, the Hyper Voice. Because it is boosted by Pixelate, after all. Um, so yeah, we'll go for the Hyper Voice real quick. I guess I could have wished into Terrakion later, but it's, it's, it's not working out like that anyway. <laughs> it's not working out. So they withdraw the Galvantula. I think we can pull this back with Gyarados. I really do. So Muk comes in. How's Muk going to like this after a Stealth Rock? So how's it going to like this Hyper Voice? Is it going to appreciate it at all? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Which is great for us. So I'm pretty sure Sylveon outspeeds here. So we should be able to just go straight for another Hyper Voice. If they do go for a poison move, we should be able to live. So we go for a hyper voice. We do our speed, which is great. Down goes the muck. So muck is out of the way. It's no longer a switch into our special attackers. They now have no switch ins to Noivern, which is amazing. Well, Reverum Room, actually. Reverum Room switches in. But they um I feel like they're gonna terror the Reverum Room into like a terror flying to avoid the earthquake from Gyarados. I feel like. Reverum Room comes in, which is amazing. Now, Reverum Room is in an interesting position here because I can't really switch out. It's got an air balloon as well, which is very annoying gonna have to go for that hyper voice they go for a shift gear which is very terrifying by the way very terrifying i should have probably terrified terror blasted there we go for that hyper voice we break the air balloon which is great um what do we do now i guess i don't know what to do i feel like this rev room sweeps us here like if i hard switch out into something like gyarados we haven't got intimidates we could Earthquake them now. 
They probably go for a poison move though now. I don't think they set up again. I think I think we, we are safe going for a Terror Fire Terror Blast. I think that's the only way around this. I think that's the only way around this. So I'm going to Terrestrialize into a Fire type now. And I'm going to Terror Blast Fire. To try and get some damage off on this Rev Room. Because if I stay in and they go for another Shift Gear, it's all over. If I stay in without doing anything, I'm going to go in for another Shift Gear, it's all over. So we, they go for an Iron Head, which is great. No damage. Well, well there's some damage. Terror Blast comes through. Come on, Sylveon. You need to pull through for me here. Oh, nice damage. Very nice damage from the Sylveon. I've got to say, very nice damage from the Sylveon. So, unfortunately, Gyarados is going to be able to pull this back with its Terror Dragon Scale Shot. So, now they go for a high horsepower, and they missed. I didn't even know high horsepower could miss. I thought it was 100% accurate, but no, they miss. And I think it's like 95% accurate. They miss. And now Sylveon is able to take out the Rev of Room. So just like the Cyclers are, we're able to BS our way out being swept by a Shift Gear Pokemon. <laughs> this time it's Rev of Room, which is a shame because Rev of Room would have made for a nice little thumbnail right there. Uh, I haven't done a Rev of Room one yet. Cleavor comes in. Cleavor. There we go. It's going to get some Stealth Rock Chip, which is always nice. We definitely go for a Hyper Voice here because it's just as effective as Terra Blast Fire. They go for a Stone X that's going to take us out. No problem. I'm, I'm down for that. I'm down for that. So, now what? We have two Flying Types against the Cleavor, which could be Scarfed, by the way. It could be Scarfed, which means it should outspeed us. So, I'm going to go Noivern first and drop a Draco. I think that's the only way around it, dropping a Draco in Noivern. So, we go into Noivern to drop a Draco. We frisk them. They are choice scarf. It's over. It's all ogre now. All ogre now. As we go for a Draco Meteor and we get taken out by Stone Axe. The only way we can win this is if we out is, is if they miss the Stone Axe. Stone Axe can miss. So if we can miss the Stone Axe right now, that'd be amazing. Gyarados, I just need you to go for a Dragon Dance. That's all I need. Gyarados naturally outspeeds Cleavor, I believe. Um, so we should be all right. No, because they've got Galvantula in the back. The only way we win this is if we outspeed the Cleavor after a Dragon Dance. And they have to miss the Stone Axe. So let's go for the Dragon Dance. They don't miss the Stone Axe. That's all over. It's all over. GG there, Corn Dog. GG. That was a fun one. Um, really interesting sets by my opponent. I did enjoy that game. That was a really fun one. But anyway, here is the team. Try it out if you want to use the code at the top right corner of the screen. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.